you know how in United States how we celebrate the New Year on January first, and how it is time to bring together with our friend and family. Well, in Cambodia, our New Year doesn't start until April fourteen, because there is no rain, and it's hard outside. So a lot of people who work can take a vacation during that time. <clears throat> during a Khmer New Year, we have our traditional game that call Unkun, which which is the traditional game that people used to play during New Year. So today's topic, we will go to over. We will go over the background of Bonkin. How to play Bonkin. And how bond can benefit to society. As you know, many traditional game, each traditional game, are similar to ours, rather than bond can. It's different than all because the material of the game is more unique, including the background of the game is definitely different than you expected. So the background of this game is one, is unkin. Ungun is a one plant species that species cultivated in Cambodia. Only some of the countries I have those like countries have them. This pl this this plant species have a long huge branch and large fruit. Each fruit contains many flat and round seeds, about two or three inches in dimension. The seed harden and smooth when the fruit wrapping turning dark brown, as you see in the pictures. The seed is made to the Khmer game calling Ankun, known as Bahankun, which means throwing the throwing throwing the throwing the Ankun. So as we know a little bit background, a brief background of Bahankun, we should like take a moment to step over how to play this game. From generation to generation, Bangkun have been taught as a traditional game that bring family and friends together. Men and women, all of age, can participate in Bangkun. Before the game start, the play are usually split in two teams: one of the men and one woman. Each one normally had the same number of members, ranging from four to ten. To start the game. The participate plays three or five ankun in the pyramid configuration facing each other. When each team ready to begin, each team must select which team would go in first and how many ankun they will use. The game is begin with Goi Boss, which means throwing an ankun, and Goi Dam, which means play it planting the seed. The Goi Dam is placed on the field, on the field with the steam coming from the central calling Goi, mean the Makram, is a leader of of the team. And the interesting part about this game is when you knock the other team. The uncle knock the other team out. You can using an elbow or using uncle to to push it with their leg. <laughs> Knowing how to play bongo is not necessary. At least we should go over the benefit of this game. <coughs> can we? The traditional game are not just a game that playing during New Year. It also have this has a benefit to society as well, such as helping the men, 
maintain people's mental and physical identity. This assists people in coordinate, coordinating their hand and eyes, and it also enhance the concentration of people. For my experience, when I used to play this game, it also helped me focusing on when I'm throwing the uncle because you make you you make sure when you throw an uncle, make sure it's landing on the other team and knock the other uncle out. Well, it look like the time is going. It look like the time is close to being in. If you follow along with me, you guys should know how to play this traditional game. So today we go over the background of Bongun, how to play Bongun, and how Bongun benefit to society. <coughs> now it's time for you to teach your parent, your friend, and your parent to play Bongun. Thank you.